U.S. President Barack Obama has chosen the summer of 2011, about a year before the election season warms up in 2012, to refresh his national security staff. Experts are speculating the shakeup could be a sign of something much greater to come. Their conclusion? Between the end of June and Defense Secretary Robert Gates' retirement, and the end of September and Joint Chiefs of Staff Admiral uh, Michael Mullen's retirement, the danger that Netanyahu and Barack will aim at a surprise in Iran is especially great, especially since this would divert attention from the Palestinian issue. I certainly wouldn't rule out an attack of this magnitude taking place sometime this summer, especially with the September UN vote on the recognition of a Palestinian state looming. This would immediately become priority number one for the UN, taking the Palestinian state issue completely off the table, at least for the time being. In other news, according to Dr. Yavko Menram, an outgoing uh, Israeli petroleum supervisor, Israel could be sitting on a gold mine that could rival Saudi Arabia's vast oil reserves. A geological map presented at Hebrew University last week shows that the Levant Basin, which includes the huge Leviathan gas field, may contain large quantities of oil in deep strata. Dr. Yavok Menran said that if the drilling in the Leviathan field uncovers oil, there is a good chance more black gold is waiting to be discovered in similar strata, Globes reported. Memoran's map indicates that several other offshore exploration licensees are in structures that might contain oil. Israel also may be sitting on a huge shale oil deposits and the Israeli Energy Initiatives Company hopes to launch a pilot project by the end of this year that will lead towards production of 50,000 barrels a day, one-fifth of Israel's consumption. Oil shale deposits cover 15% of the country, according to estimates of the Infrastructures Ministry, which would place Israel as having one of the largest oil reserves in the world. The World Energy Council estimates Israel's shale oil deposits might contain up to 250 billion barrels of oil, almost the same amount of proven oil reserves in Saudi Arabia. I have reported on this uh, oil discovery in the past and the astounding potential it could hold. In past articles, I have also focused on Russia's sudden interest in providing Lebanon with the equipment and expertise in harvesting oil, uh, Israel's Leviathan gas and oil fine that stretches into Lebanese waters. You can bet this is not a friendly gesture on Russia's part, one of the world's leading oil and natural gas producers. Frankly, I look for Israel to continue to shock the world with mammoth discoveries in both oil and gas. The Bible says one day soon Russia will be drawn down to Israel by a great spoil they won't be able to resist. The World Energy Council estimates Israel's shale deposits might contain up to 250 billion barrels of oil, which would rival Saudi Arabia. I am convinced the half has yet to, be unf to unfold, and Israel is on the verge of becoming a potential world gas and oil leader. I say potential, since it will probably be years before Israel is in a position to harvest this vast discovery. I believe Russia will be well aware of this new untapped potential and will seize the opportunity to partner with their Islamic allies in an attempt to destroy Israel. However, this war, known as the Battle of Gog and Magog, will end badly for the invading armies, who will suffer a crushing defeat at the hands of God Almighty Himself. The Bible says that 83% of the invading army will perish in the mountains of Israel through a series of natural disasters and plagues. This is Terry Malone with the Calvary Prophecy Report.